Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have to talk about Road to the Final and FIFA 22 Ultimate Team because I think that it is insane. EA have knocked it out of the park with these cards that they put in packs, the boost that they put on the cards, skill move, weak foot upgrades, the player selection. I think it was all a W from yesterday. And I think that since the content is pretty good with icon swaps coming as well, I think we could see a bit of a market crash coming in the next couple of days on the rest of the market as you know, this promo keeps unfolding as people switch to icon swaps, grind mode, and objective gameplay, and that usually brings some market drop with it. So I want to talk about that in today's video and just everything road to the final related, how these cards upgrade, how the market reacted yesterday, and that's, again, more of a reasoning why I, th I could think we could see some drop-offs heading out of this weekend. So if you're excited for road to the final, make sure to hit a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Now let's take a look at these cards, right? Because one thing we know right off the bat is that it says here, road to the final, 18 road to the final players are in packs for six days. So basically one week, these cards are in packs, a normal Friday to Friday promo, but it's 18 cards that are in packs right now. And it doesn't say anything about team one or a team two. This looks like it's just gonna be a one week standalone road to the final promo but there's still cards that we are going to be seeing in packs because there will be a mini release and that is leaked and we'll take a look at that here in a second but i want to talk you through how these cards work just simply to get that out of the way again as ea said and as i want to you know expound upon this too european knights are back and the biggest teams from across the continent are battling it out over the light uh, under the lights to make it into the final of those respective european competitions these are some of the most fun cards to trade with on this game, especially when the games are happening. There's so much fun. I cannot wait until next week at the very earliest when we'll have potential to trade with some of these items that have games and watch their prices fluctuate. Uh, but as the, uh, as the upgrades go, it's actually very similar to what it was last year. You get a uh, an upgrade for that first knockout win first uh, win the first knockout game after the campaign launch and then if they qualify for the quarterfinals that's an upgrade qualify for semi qualify for the final and then if they actually win they can go all the way and get a plus five total upgrade throughout uh the enti entirety of that i guess upgrade cycle you could say so it's basically the same exact upgrade upgrades as last year the only thing that is different is we're starting this promo when a couple of other games have already been played, right? So for cards like Mane, for cards like Kempembe, who have already won a game, this upgrade does not yet count. The second leg for those two games, and of course the Bayern leg that was still a draw, um, and all of those games that were played earlier this last week, those do not count. All of the game's second legs that will be played in a few weeks from now, that will count for that first win after uh, in the knockout round match. As you can see here, games uh, before February 18th will not count towards the first possible upgrade. So that's that creates a couple interesting scenarios, especially with guys like Mane, with cards like Kimpembe, because if they were to win their second knockout match um, in that second leg, they would then be getting a double upgrade at once, right? They'd get that double upgrade right away. They get a plus two because they would win that match and they would qualify for the quarterfinals at the same time. So that kind of creates a really interesting scenario where some of these cards at their first upgrade might get a plus two, depending on how far apart and how close EA do these upgrades. And that's one thing that we will remain to have to wait and see how long will it take for the attribute boost to be applied. Of course, they say it very vaguely and they say any road to the final upgrades may take a few days to update as they usually do say. So again, that's how the upgrades are going to work. And I mean, some of these cards that even might not upgrade, I think they've boosted them so well um, that if there were upgrades to happen to any of these cards, I mean, they're going to look really, really dope and really insane after some of these boosts, right? Now, speaking of these cards, we have 18 that are in packs right now, but we do have four more that are coming. And this is the full leak squad. This was put out yesterday. As we mentioned in last night's video, I was expecting to see a leak of the team and there was a team leak. Uh, and there's also a mini release leak as well for probably tomorrow. I guess technically it could come today, but most times mini releases have been on Sundays. And as we see here, Mares, Emre Chan, Subislai, and Denayer 
are all cards. These are the confirmed stats as well. So these cards all look pretty dope and they have potential to upgrade, of course, as their teams progress in the competitions. Again, you look at this side and the player selection here is it's great. It's unbelievable, right? I mean, especially a few of these cards really stick out to me as dope FIFA items. Ansu Fati with a massive upgrade. That card looks absolutely incredible. Gareth Bale with the... So, no uh, flashback Gareth Bale. They just went ahead and dropped a live version striker position change. They gave him the four-star weak foot upgrade. So, now a four-star, four-star Bale. This card has a lot of hype right now in this game because Bale finally got a special item. The flashback rumors are now done, and this is the bail card that we have. Uh, Kempembe got a special item. Renato Sanchez got a special item. I mean, all of these cards that are in this promo are really good. And then you have such a, a wide variety of price ranges as a part of this too, right? Sadio Mane is 1.6 mil. Um, Kempembe, 1.3. Renato Sanchez, 1.8. Then you have great cards down here like Papu Gomez, 50,000 coins for this cracked out looking card and they won their first match three to one so they are on their way to getting Papu Gomez potentially getting a plus two at the next upgrade going to an 89 that card's going to look incredible right that's the hype and that's why these road to the final cards are so high but even without the upgrades I look at a lot of these cards and they fit into so many teams they are so meta and they are right in line if not maybe even extending a little bit more the power curve on this game for mid and high tier teams on this game. Again, you talk about Kimpembe, maybe a bit overpriced. It wasn't the biggest upgrade in his card, but you expect more upgrades to come, right? PSG already 1-0 up against Real Madrid. Renato Sanchez, you know, it's kind of interesting to see some of the boosts that they put on these cards because you might think, okay, Renato Sanchez, they gave him a pretty sizable boost over his signature signings card, which rebounded really well yesterday, of course, because this one is very expensive. But, you know, maybe EA gave a couple of these cards a bit bigger boosts just because they don't expect them to go on throughout this promo, right? You think about that Renato Sanchez. You think about Alexis Sanchez, right? Look at the boost that this guy got, right? You don't really think Inter is going to come back and beat Liverpool. I mean, nothing is impossible, of course, and everything is possible that could happen. But they really juiced up this card. I think they really juiced up the bail for that version as well, even though that tie is pretty close. You never know. Uh, the Ansu Fati card looks really cracked. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I'm just a fan. I'm just a fan of this promo team because I think it is really a great set of players. I know some people are going to sit here and complain and say, man, you know, we've seen a lot of these cards had road to the final items back in FIFA 20 or in FIFA 19 or whatever it may be. You know, like actually like three or four members of this team had road to the final items earlier in past FIFAs, but this is a new FIFA. Some of them are at new teams and it's a new stats, new game, totally different thing. So I understand that, but we don't have a lot of special cards for the players that have been dropped, right? Bale's first special card. Uh, you look at Ansu Fati's first special card, Kai Havers, his first one of the year, Toliso, Alexis Sanchez. There's a, a lot of players, Kempembe, there's Alex Tellez. There's a lot of players from this team that got their first special card of the year as a part of this promo, and I think that's a W. So I'm a fan of all the cards that they dropped yesterday. I think they did a great job making this team, and the prices are very interesting. They're very, very interesting because they looked very supplied, right? And if you watch prices yesterday on the market and on the game, it looks like these road to the finals had so much supply, like they were supplied like crazy. But if you take a look at the pack weight, it's not very high. It's not very high, right? 3% of a road to the final UCL player, UECL, which is only three cards, Vardy, Kamara, and Smalling, 4%. And then uh, a Europa League road to the final player, which is, I believe, five cards with Bowen, Gomez, Ilicic, Lozano, and Ansu Fati, you have a 5.7% chance. So if you add all that up, you're sitting somewhere around 12.8% chance of packing one of these three cards. But especially if you split it up between those three percentages, there's 18 cards in packs, which is more than normal. And so much of that percentage pack weight is on those lower tier eight cards the Europa League and the Conference League items. So I'm, you know, these cards right now might look like they're kind of supplied. And like, I believe as we were looking on the market yesterday, there was a decent amount of supply on some of these like Kempembe and Renato Sanchez. Now they're getting kind of rare right now in the late night. And I've actually bought a couple of these to potentially flip for later on. Um, 
but and it's, the supply is, is kind of cooled down. Wow, Kempembe has actually gone up a lot. I need to be selling my Kempembe here very, very fast. Um, you know, these cards are going to, they're going to seem rare in the coming weeks because they just get rare like that, right? We've seen it happen time and time again, year in, year out with these road to the final cards. Wow. 1.35. I bought two Kempembe's at 1.2. This is why we love live items and very hype cards like this, because they do get rare in a sense too. Um, as people buy these cards and they will hold on to them, um, and literally just wait for them to get their upgrades. They will buy these cards while they're in packs, put them in their team. Yes, I'm listening for six hours because I'm gonna bet, gonna go to bed here pretty quick. And if he doesn't sell, I want to give him a shot to sell for at least six hours. Um, you know, people put these cards in their teams and they hold them there and they use them uh, for a long time because these cards, especially if they're ex uh, expected to get upgrades, they don't really devalue that much. Because there's, again, so much hype for the team aspect and the upgrading aspect of these cards. And that's why it's fantastic. That's why they're so valuable and they end up being rare. Even though they don't look super duper rare right now and some of them are so cheap. You're like, bail 400k? Vardy's 125,000 coins? Like, what? That's crazy? So that's kind of what I would say about these cards right now at the start. Uh, but we're just going to have to track their progress throughout this week as they get packed some more. They're out in packs, of course, for the whole week. With whatever content that EA continues to drop, we'll have to keep a close eye on that to see how these cards react to it. If the SBCs that they put out are very hype, that's going to be a key factor this week, in my opinion, on how these Road to the Finals do. But a lot of them probably will sort of creep up out of packs because, again, that live nature, especially if the, that card and that player's team is expected to continue on in the competition. Now, SBC wise yesterday, we did have a showdown SBC between DePaul for Atletico Madrid, which this does look like a pretty decent card. It's only like 180,000 coins to complete, but this guy was not the real hype getter yesterday. It was Eric Bailly, center back Manchester United, medium high work rates. Again, you imagine this card right here, with a plus two boost. This SBC is coming in, in my opinion, at a really good value price of right around like 190, 200,000 coins. I think that's a good value. And I think a lot of people on this game agree, especially with the potential of a plus two upgrade. Of course, if Manchester United can win, right? It has to be an outright win. If it's a draw plus one, if that team loses, no upgrade. So a lot of people are gonna be pulling for Man U. You can see 1600 upvotes here. And I think this is just, especially if you run a Premier League team, there's a lot of other Premier League center backs that are in this game that you could go and get. But this one's a cool one. Eric Bailly, probably the best card that he's going to have all year, especially if you're a United fan and you have some extra fodder. This is not a bad SBC to do, especially because you're getting a player that has potential to upgrade. And he just looks like he might be a decent card in this game anyway. So nothing that's going to be super crazy in terms of a SBC that you have to do. Uh, especially if they do get the win, you'll be like, man, I really, really w would hope that I have that card. Um, but I think this SBC yesterday uh, was a W. I really think that it was. But as we head on throughout this week, one thing we really have to watch out for is, again, the SBCs that they drop that are live cards, right? Live cards. Those are the ones that we're going to have to keep an eye out for. Because if you think back to Road to the Knockouts earlier, this year, think about some of the SBCs that we saw then that were so very hyped and so very popular that people still use today, right? Fakir, we talked about this in last night's video too. The Nabil Fakir SBC is a card that people still use in this game to this day. Nah, man, who's undercutting me now? Are you kidding me? Nah, we don't like that. Anyways, the Fakir SBC, the Bernardo Silva SBC, you have the Delict SBC. All three of those were released during the earlier Champions League promo this year. And think about how hyped those cards were for months afterwards. So that's still something that we have yet to see leaks about. We really don't have any SBC leaks apart from the Mezit Ozil, which we'll take a look at that again, because this could be the SBC that is coming today. Again, we really don't have any leaks for right now, what's coming today on Saturday. Um, but this could be a potential card that we would see either today, maybe during the next week, who knows. But I would imagine that they're still going to drop a couple of these cards as SBCs throughout this week. And again, that'll just create potential for some more hype and for some cards uh, to be coming out that a lot of people would want to do and complete 
and you know add to their squads depending on the price on this game so that is what i wanted to just mention with the sbcs because we did not get a road to the final player sbc yesterday and we don't have anything leaked as of right now except for this ozil that could change of course we are uh, now six days removed from the crazy flashback Neymar SBC that was all of the rage and all of the hype and panic uh, about a week ago. Um, and now we're in a completely different place on this game where we've got tons of new cards that are out. People are trying um, and not a lot of SBC content. Now, a lot of SBC content is here in the store, but not a lot of SBC content related to the brand new promo, right? We have a lot of lingering SBCs, as we've said icon upgrades we have still some of these future star sbcs that we had the the, uh, the player pick the reunions the party bags these are still live uh until sunday so i'm wondering if sunday is really gonna like pick up in terms of content again and we'll have to kind of see what happens during that time frame now speaking of objectives we had to spend a, a quick bit just covering this stuff from yesterday road to the final martinez this is a w it's really easy to get done um and great for an air divisi squad Pro air divisi is often a you know requirement for icon swaps or for a lot of other objectives having some air divisi or argentinians in your squad this is a pretty easy one to get done now some people are not that happy about the rttf glory road I like the idea of this. I think it's really, really cool. But I think some people are not happy because the idea of not being able to play unlimited amount of games. Um, I, again, I like the layout of this. It's kind of like you're progressing towards your own Champions League final where you get a 100K pack if you win and you get some nice packs along the way. But you can play like five games per day and you have 14 days to do it or, or something like that um, to get this done. So you have to win 21 matches and you have 14 days to do it. That's what it is. But you can only play five per day. So there's a there's a limit to it, which some people don't like. And supposedly it's kind of sweaty in this final Fanatics live foot friendly. But I think the idea here is a W. So if you have time and want to grind this out, it is some nice packs right there. Uh, maybe during this week, that could be something that you go out and do. Now, let's talk market too, right? Because yesterday on the market, it was a incredible day to trade. It really was. I made crazy amount of coins yesterday with a lot of fluctuations, right? I bought three Ferran Torres at 700K. I bought this at 1.15. I bought three Chalmanis in the low 1.1s. There was a lot of center back panic yesterday. There was a lot of panic selling in general yesterday because when the leaked team was put out, you saw a lot of prices drop across the game. Icons went down. Some of your most meta gold cards went down. Like Mbappe went from 900K all the way down to 830 and then he rose all the way back up to like 880. And now he's back down again. He's 830, 840,000 coins. And seeing some of these cards drop back down again just a little bit and taking a look at the rest of the market and some of these out of pack special cards. Yes, there are some that rose up a little bit, you know, like DACA is up a tiny bit. Uh, if Aaron Torres is back down 30K, Gravenberch is up a little bit. But as I take a look at the rest of the market, a lot of stuff yesterday, there were some rebounds here and there. You know, like Chalmany, I talked about, he, he rose back. Smith Rowe is still low. Bellingham is up a little bit. Um, but if you take a look at like team of the years, team of the year honorable mentions, you know, Hakimi is, is down still. Cancelo is still chilling kind of where he was. A lot of these cards didn't really move that much. And especially like even seeing this golden Mbappe being down to 830K, you know, this, this really tells me that yes, there were some parts of the market that rebounded just a little bit yesterday. But with all of the insane cards that we got in this promo, and especially with icon swaps still coming very soon on Monday, I really think that the market is still going to lose some value over the weekend. And I think you are going to see some of the market just drop off in price more because you have icon swaps coming. You have insane cards that are out right now, uh, and you still have SBCs out that people are trying to do. Now, fodder is down a little bit, not down crazy. Uh, but it did drop a bit yesterday. The 88s were under 30K. Now they're back up above. Again, we talked about that for SBCs as well. And when fodder is high like this, it's draining some coins. So I, I really do think that you're going to see some people sell off their teams this weekend. And I, I'm not talking about a full out market crash. All I'm saying is you might see some just, you know, 5 to 10% drops on these cards slowly as we get out through the weekend. Kind of like what you're seeing on Mbappe right now, right? Mbappe was panic sold. He kind of bounced back up. And now he's back down again. You see Mbappe was 900, went down to 820, back to 870. 
and he's kind of been slowly falling. Now, he might rebound back up a little bit today into Saturday, but I just feel like we're in one of those parts of the year again in one of those stages with a big promo out right now with a lot of great cards and icon swaps coming that is going to make people focus on other areas than their main team uh, at the moment, you know, and keeping those main team players in their squad for the foreseeable future. Um, I think that there's going to be a lot of shakeups and it's not because of like content leaks or anything like that. I think that, you know, icon swaps just has that kind of pull on this game and it impacts the market in that way. I think we just sold the Kempembe. Oh yeah. Show me the money. Where's, where's a Kempembe at man? Kempembe at 1.32 bang. So we bought that at 1.2 mil sold at 1.32. That is a W trading with these new cards is great as well because they do get kind of rare at night. So I'm excited to see that. And that is a very, very nice flip. I literally held that card for like an hour and a half. And I think my other one is listed up at 1.35. So hopefully I do end up getting that sale as there are a few undercuts here. Hopefully he gets rare enough. But anyways, I just think that the market is going to be devalued here in the next coming days. So if you have cards that are in your team that you need the coins on, especially as we head into a time where uh, icon swaps is coming and you don't want to be holding on to cards during that time frame, then, you know, it's not a terrible time to look to take the cash on any of those items at all. So that's just kind of my recommendation. And with icon swaps coming, that always pulls people away from their meta teams and pulls them towards objective teams. So, you know, taking the cash on some of those meta cards, I just don't see a lot of things that are just going to keep going up, right? Um, except for maybe some of these road to the finals, depending on the games that happen this next week. But throughout this next week, I, I really think that a lot of this stuff is just going to kind of chill and, um, and and probably drop off in price, honestly. That's what I'm feeling. So just kind of a heads up there. Icon moments. Let me tell you this. I don't think we're getting icon moments this weekend because as of right now, unless something changes, when I go into the transfer market here and search cards, usually what we see is when we get those icon moments in packs, you can actually search those players and see them here in the search menu and you'll see their moments versions and their dynamic images will pop up. As of right now, all I see are the primes. So that tells me that Icon Moments is not today. Some people thought it might be today on Saturday. They've done a, a delayed release before. So unless something changes there, I don't think that we will see those today in this game either. It might just be an inch, a quieter Saturday. We'll see if there's any leaks, of course, because the leaks, um, yeah, all the leaks from yesterday were spot on. So just, again, we take those with a grain of salt, but they have still been very accurate recently. But again, yesterday was a crazy day on the game. A lot of great cards dropped. A lot of coins were made. I bought a bunch of bales at 400 to 410, sold at 440. Bought a bunch of Papu Gomez at 47K, sold at uh, 77. I bought some Ansu Fati's at 400, sold at 440. He ended up going higher later. Now he's back down. So I bought some more Fati's at like 430. Uh, 420 to 430. So hopefully I can get this guy out for like 470. I did buy a Renato at 1.65. Hopefully able to sell that uh, above 1.8 as he gets very, very rare today on Saturday morning. So if you're trading with any of these cards as well, good luck. They do fluctuate a lot in price. Wow, back down to 1.7? Dude, this guy moves so much. It's crazy. So we'll see if we can get the Renato hype train going as people want to try this card out and make some profit on it. But that's going to be the video for today, boys. I think that Road to the Final is just a big dub. I think the players and packs compared to future stars, it's better. The live upgrading potential, the boost they gave these cards, I give it I give it an 8 out of 10. I give it an 8 out of 10 for just the pack content, just the cards that are in packs. Hopefully the SBCs and the objectives raise this to a 10 out of 10 promo in the next week. I'm a big fan so far. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Of course, if you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.